Hey guys, really quick before the video actually starts, um, I just wanted to mention that I was going to play this on the PC. Frog Rider was uh, kind enough again to give me some, uh, like a link to a place that shows you how to get everything off um, your Xbox 360 and put it on the PC so you could play Mass Effect 3 on the PC. But I ended up running out of time and kind of out of motivation for it. I figure I'll just play through Mass Effect 3 and the Xbox 360 kind of how I would have if I didn't have the PC option. Um, someday I'll go back and I'm going to have to actually play everything. On, I'm going to have to play Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3 on the PC anyway to for Andromeda. Um, just kind of how I prefer to do it. Because the, the other way involves like ripping it off your 360 and that kind of made me nervous. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so sorry about that. Sorry, about, thank you for operator for uh, if you watch this for uh, for that advice. Um, I will have to keep that just in case I do need it someday. But um, I think this time I'm just gonna just gonna stick with 360 for now. Um, yeah, that was basically all. Um, let me know what you guys think of the video. Thanks. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Mass Effect Three. I've just been sitting here for a few minutes, listening to this music and staring at this screen. Because I didn't quite realize it when I turned it on, because it's late and I'm kind of out of my mind right now. But, I mean, this was the first game I ever did on this channel. And it will forever hold a special place in my heart for that. For many reasons, but for that one as well, because I met so many cool people because of it. Dragon Age Inquisition, the first season, has by far and above been my most popular game, but this one will always be special to me, and I actually just finished playing Mass Effect 2 for 12 hours straight, it's 1 o'clock in the morning, and I am insane. I just finished playing a complete playthrough of 1 and 2. And I'm uploading now that those saves to Mass Effect 3. Because I kind of wanted to give my Shepard, Raven Shepard, a proper Mass Effect 3 playthrough. Without the technical difficulties that I had that plagued the first one. That, like, uh, drove me up a wall. Because I was just learning. I was just learning... And a part of me just really wants to cry my eyes out tonight, so I'm gonna start this game. But uh, it feels like a, it feels like a good time to do it, even though it's one o'clock in the morning and I really should be going to bed and I can't be loud. I gotta be quiet. So I don't know. I'm just after everything that happened in Mass Effect Two, after everything I've learned from one and two. I've done all the DLC. Didn't finish Firewalker because screw that. <laughs> but I, I've done as much as I can for this. And I wasn't planning actually really on doing this. And I'm, I might not even upload this. I might just upload the first one for heaven's sake. I don't even know. But I'm going to record it. And I'm... I'm going to give Raven the run through that she deserves the the story and the journey and the ending that she deserves because more than anything she's very important to me I don't, she's part of my soul in a way I don't know that's weird you could say that's weird I don't know it's late I'm being extra sensitive extra emotional extra nah <laughs> being, I'm just being extra everything right now but this music though, just listening to this music and staring at the screen brings back a ton of memories. I had so much trouble with the original Mass Effect 3 and I actually had just about as long an intro as I did before because I was like trying to explain all this stuff. I was like, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna play Mass Effect 3 with this character you don't even know but that I adore more than anybody else. And I'm like afraid to press the start button sort of, but because I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm getting myself into but <sighs> above all this is the most technically 
adept game, I think, of them all. Oh, also, I have to play on, um, I have to play offline because the game won't load. It gets stuck on one of those screens. It didn't used to do this, but it, towards the end, it started to not work, basically. I believe we start a new game. Oh, I was like, import, what? We, oh, you could like, you could just like, oh, okay, I see. You could like redo your character. Oh, please work. Even though we're up, yes. What? Yeah, see, oh shoot, I should have just checked this. Like, cause I, last time I thought I was a, re a, a vanguard. Turns out it was John Shepard who was a vanguard, and Raven Shepard was the engineer. But I had a good time playing as a vanguard. We'll see. Uh, whew. wait, what? Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. This is it. Okay. Rescue, save the Rachnite Queen, rescue Caden, chose to save the council, destroy Malus Data, kept Rex alive, chose to destroy the Geth Heretics, destroyed the Collector Base, survived the suicide mission with 12 squad mates, romance Caden before ME2, romance Thane. Technically, I actually, because what I was doing when I played Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2 most recently was trying to show how my Mass Effect 3 character, my original Mass Effect 3 character came to be. And kind of the decisions that Kind of sort of the thought processes that I could remember and why she chose some of these decisions. Um, but turns out this last time, uh, Morden survived, which he didn't last time with Raven. He did the first time I played with John Shepard, the male Shepard. Um, but yeah, so which I, I was like actually thinking about changing, but I've never played with Morden alive, and I hear it's quite emotional, so why the frick not? <laughs> Whew, this brings back... Wow, this was like, what, two, two years ago or more? Three? I don't know. Maybe three years ago. No way. Couldn't be three years ago. Oh, I remember really not liking... Oh, what did I do? How did I fix it? Let's see. I think... Oh. I should actually probably just go look at the code from... I could like probably go all the way. I could just check that first video and see if I really wanted to. Oh, I might do that. Okay, perfect. That was nearly painless. <laughs> Man, it would be so weird. I, just listening to part of it, I was like, ugh. Sometimes I try to go back and watch it again just to see what it was like. And I'm, I was trying so hard to be monotone, like not monotone, but trying so hard to not sound like really. girly. Like, oh my gosh, hello, welcome to this thing I'm doing. Yay, you know? Let's see. I don't think we're gonna change the iris color, I'm just curious. I think this is, this one of all of them, oh my gosh, freaking. You can make some really cool looking, I know a mess back when I actually, I wanted to make a white hair character, but you can't. Not that one, it was this one. What, what did it change? Yeah, six, three, six, four, Q. Yep, okay. Code matches. Her hair looks redder than I remember, but that's the brownest one, so. And there's always gonna be some changes, but. Okay, confirm. All right, we could be a vanguard. Uh, you're outfitted with L5 air and implants. Incendiary ammo, cryo ammo, biotic charge, Nova. What's Nova do? Shockwave and pull. Sentinel, tech and biotic. It makes rushing their enemies much more productive. 
Oh, that's this one where you can like detonate your armor. Overload, cryo blast, but you don't have inferno. Lift grenade, cool. I honestly really enjoyed Engineer and I thought it fit her personality the best. Oh my gosh, it's not like they were like, oh, they have a combat drone, and I was like, oh, I freaking loved the combat drone, you know, like, it was my favorite thing in, in, in Mass Effect 2 about being an engineer, and I, like, didn't use the sentry turret for a long time, and then I got it fully upgraded so that it was a freaking flamethrower, and I was like, ah! I've used it way more than the drone after that. Oh, I did enjoy engineer a lot. Maybe I should play a little different, though. I was thinking about playing on Sanity mode, to be honest, to be perfectly honest with you. Because there's, again, there's no, I checked, there's no hardcore difficulty achievement for doing this on hard. So, I don't know. Let's see, what is Nova, though? I don't remember that one. Biotic charge, shockwave, and pull were basically useless to me. Incendiary ammo and crown ammo were fun, though. I did enjoy that. Yeah. The male shepherd that I imported, I started, I made him an infiltrator. Mm. Oh my gosh, they have incinerate too? Oh, they have disruptor ammo, cryo ammo. Oh my gosh, they have cryo ammo and incinerate? Tactical cloak, whatever that, I mean, that makes you, like, invisible. Sticky grenade and sabotage. Ugh. But I think it's a. I think you can only have a sniper rifle. And there are some instances where freaking playing with a sniper rifle makes you want to die. It kills you. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know. Should I just try it for kicks as like a homage to like Thane and Legion? Dude, I kind of want to try it. I mean, it always sounds- Infiltrator sounds super cool. It always does. But, I mean, I don't know. Vanguard- uh, I kind of want to try Vanguard on Mass Effect 3, though, because they're a little different. I mean, they, they- Every game, they improved each class. And class. And, but Engineer's the best, I think. <laughs> but it'd be fun to play something a little different. <laughs> I'm gonna hate myself. Uh, your accomplishments give you the burn, burn power. Oh my gosh, energy drain. Oh wait, okay. Um, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I have disruptor ammo, cryo ammo, which I'll probably be using cryo ammo a lot. Incinerate, and a sticky grenade, and sabotage. So I have technical stuff mostly. I don't really have anything biotic. Okay. Uh, you could do- wow. Uh, Dark Channel, I think that's basically Reeve. Whew. Dominate. Oh, yeah! I think you only get that if you- I thought you only got that if you had, uh, Morinth on your team. Whew. Slam. Slam armor piercing ammo. Ah, ah. Fortification defense matrix. Mm. See, they take damage in stasis now. No effect on armor targets. Re against barriers and armor. Defense drone. Decoy! Oh my gosh, that'd be cool to have a decoy! Oh my gosh, that would be cool to have carnage! Uh, see, this is the thing is, I'm not quite sure in how, how insanity would go in Mass Effect 3. Like, how, what kind of enemies... Because, like, in Mass Effect 2, I figured out pretty quick that the husks get armor on hard mode. 
and that basically makes a ton of biotic stuff, no, it makes a ton of tech stuff useless. Until you get their stuff down. It makes, it makes, well, it makes, <laughs> makes biotic stuff useless too, because it used to shock shockwave husks away, but then when they have freaking armor on, you can't do that. So, let's see, we're mostly going to be fighting... Pretty sure we'll be mo yeah we'll be mostly fighting organics in this one. So decoy would be nice. I mean stasis would be useful. Freaking stasis would be really useful, but I don't think it works on big enemies. You know what I mean? Who do I want to take with me? I probably want to take Garrus with me. Oh shoot, that means we'll both be infiltrators. And I don't know, Yara's stuff is really powerful. I don't get any Krogan this time around for some reason. I think the only new we get, we get Vega. We do get Caden back eventually. It takes a while though. I can't even remember. Who did I bring with me last time? I brought Garrus with me. And I brought. Did I bring Liara with me? Liara, Javik. I mean, Slam's always fun. But it's useless on armor. Maybe we'll try decoy for now. <laughs> yeah, but I can restart. I like this that you're you know it's it, it's a it's kind of a mix of like regeneration health but also requiring you to manage your health so I like it I like it's a nice compromise oh I just want to go to bed and cry tonight that's why I'm starting this at one o'clock in the morning Ugh. how bad is it bad we just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. Shiz. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. You... you would think we would have had more time. But we Not had long. time. I sent word. The fleet's immobilizing. We had time. God help us all. Bitch. This is also, I wanted to start this because it's going to make a lot more sense now that I've played the DLC, especially Arrival, which is basically explains why you're in the situation you're in at the beginning of Aspect 3, because otherwise it's like, what? Like, what am I doing? Why am I here? What am I doing? Why am I not out with my drill boyfriend helping people out, making out a bit? sure what people have. I, I'm not quite sure why people hate Star Child. Oh, this is a spoiler run, by the way. Like, totally, I am totally can't right now. Not. Like, there's no way. Ah, she's beautiful. Commander. Yo, You're not supposed muscle. to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you, either. We gotta go. The Defense Committee wants to see you. Sounds important. They've just been keeping me in the Alliance headquarters. Like, I don't even have a house. I just live What's in a barrack on? Couldn't unit. say. I live just in the detention center. You see that? Yeah. I live in the detention center. Anderson, Anderson, get me out of here. Admiral. You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you doing really <laughs> being relieved from duty? <laughs> She's it's like... not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. 
What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleet. Why do you think? I'm guessing we're to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. You know we're not ready if it is them. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the Defense Committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the Committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You they don't have time, down. Anderson. Hell, you spoke to one. They blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us. What they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That way they grounded me? Took away my ship? Yeah! You know this. Freaky! When you blew up the Batarian relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. And so does the Committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That and your good word. Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. So this does change a little and bit. so does the Committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. Exactly! I don't be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. Being a soldier helps. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. I'm gonna need it, muscles. I'm gonna need it right Anderson. now. I'm gonna need it right now. Shepard. <laughs> I just love that hey. Anderson, like, looks back, doesn't even say anything. There, okay, I think. Hard Freaking to know. Major. I'm just waiting for orders now. Major. He's a major. <laughs> like, wow. He heard? No, have He got bumped up to lieutenant commander Sorry. in Mass Effect 2. Been... Wow. That's okay. Just glad I bumped into you, Caden. Yeah. Me too. Admiral. Come on. I remember initially being like, wait, no, wait, that was too nice to sounding. Don't smile at me like that. You know the commander. I used to. Still makes my heart skip a beat, but dude, I just got done cuddling with Thane like 10 minutes ago, so you ain't got nothing on that. Not anymore, Caden. Admiral Anderson. Shepherd. He's a good bet. He's a good man, but what's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. I've been in detention. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. You grounded your Whole best asset. We've lost contact with everything beyond the soul relay. Whatever Basically, you is. should be evacuating. It's incomprehensible. You should be panicking right now. You shouldn't you be talking. Here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Yeah, you all better panic. Call your families and tell them to go then, somewhere safe. How do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are, more powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But there must be some way. And it sounds like this should be the way you go when she says survival. And this sounds kind of idealistic and cheesy, but I think at this point, Shepard, Shepard's realistic, but she's also like, she's like, this has to be the way we do it. You know what I mean? Like, we can't, I, and I, isolationist, like, even one pocket of human survival, it's not enough. You know? You need to stand together to win. If we're going to have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand We together. can't let stupid that's things divide us, is what she's that's saying. That's our plan? The plan would have been better we've lost contact with Luna Bay. if you'd have freaking listened to me Luna. two years ago. It couldn't be that close already. Or like I three years ago. defenses. Well, yeah. Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. Yeah, it's not just they're past the lunar base. We've lost contact with the lunar base. Friggin' UK! Basically, at this point, it's everybody I run. We heard from Admiral Hackett. 
Yeah, I actually don't know why we haven't heard from Admiral Hackett, what because Admiral Hackett freaking booked it. He had to. And he had to do something terrible to do it, but he had to do it. The only thing we can. We fight or we die. Those are literally the only two options we have. We should get to the Normandy. Yeah. I was not mentally prepared for this. I wasn't. I was just happy flirting with my drill boyfriend in my ship in Mass Effect 2. And now everything. Come crashing down. Like like the like at this point there's no there's no going back. There's nothing. It this is it. Temper. This is it. Temper. The Reapers Temper. are here. Everything else has to be. Ash eh, Anderson. Here, friggin'. This. We've got to get moving. This is Admiral Anderson. Report in anyone. Major Alanko, is that you? We What's have some of the best luck on the planet. I can't raise the Normandy. You'll have the contact. We'll meet you at the landing zone. That is enough. We weren't ready for this. I feel like we could have been more... Somehow, we could have done something. We could have been more ready than this. <sighs> I don't know. This breaks my heart every time. Because I know... Come on, Shepard. Caden's headed to the Normandy. They'll pick us up if we can get to the spaceport. Let's move. There is a huge list of stuff we're gonna have to go through over there on the right side. Everything we've built, everything humanity worked so hard, but we... Like, Sovereign was one thing, right? Freaking look at these things. They're beautiful and terrifying, and it feels like it's gonna come over here. By the way, this is Canada. Let's move! Wow. Yeah, this did change a little look bit. Look out! Anderson is the most bad A. You prepare. I'm, I'm like repeating myself what I said before, but I still feel the same way I did. Like, freaking run around. Like, it's farther than it looks. Running around on the outside of the friggin' Let's Alliance go. Council building. Come on, let's go. Oh, look! There are people. I didn't notice those the first time. Down here, Shepard. Those are either people running or uh, hot. <gasps> Come on. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I recognize those. Try taking out the Normandy Come and we on. were in... We'll have to go this way. Deep Space Nine or wherever we were. Yeah, let's go. Yep. Come on, let's keep moving. I know, Anderson, Major, but... Major, you read me. I'm patching in Shepard. We're almost to the Normandy. <gasps> oh, yeah, it landed. I remember this one lands right behind we're you. About five minutes out. <laughs> Say again? Major! Damn it! Come on, we gotta move! This is just. Yeah! Husks! Take them out! I remember. Oh, yeah, shoot. Uh. Oh, I'm freaking. I got like Kasumi's thing! Uh, disruptor ammo is a chance to stun. Brings down barriers and shields. Oh, sweet! I have a pistol. I'm out of ammo. Come on, we got. Uh, I think I am too now. Ah! Why did I just? Oh, I didn't need to do what Kasumi did before. I have to take these things out the old-fashioned way. Oh yeah. This is what I'm gonna try and do this time. And... No, 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 no. I don't wanna do that. How do you do the other one? Yeah! It's a 
Remiss. Uh, defeat the husks. Oh, come on. That's cool, though, seeing my decoy over there. We have the best luck. Anderson and I. Oh, I didn't give it to me. Watch it. Ah! I forgot it did that. <laughs> Someplace safe. Take my hand. You can't help me. Stupid kid. Shepard, get here. I am the most competent adult on this planet. There you go. There's the face of the child that's gonna haunt your nightmares. <laughs> 